Tip of the iceberg, prosecutors allege vast criminal conspiracy by Giuliani Associates to funnel foreign cash to Trump and GOP. Here's a summary of the article. Federal prosecutors on Thursday charged two associates of President Donald Trump's personal attorney Rudy Giuliani with a sprawling scheme to oust the former U.S. ambassador to Ukraine by funneling foreign money into the campaign coffers of Trump and an unnamed congressman believed to be former Republican Representative Pete Sessions. Parnas and Fruman, both witnesses in House Democrats' impeachment inquiry into Trump, had lunch with Giuliani at the Trump International Hotel in Washington hours before they were arrested Wednesday, according to the Wall Street Journal. Today's indictments likely represent only the tip of the iceberg in terms of foreign meddling in general but also by Parnas and Fruman, Paul S. Ryan, Common Cause. Trump personally ordered Yovanovitch removed from her post in May of 2019, according to the Wall Street Journal, following complaints from Giuliani and others that she was undermining the U.S. president and obstructing efforts to persuade KYIV to investigate former Vice President Joe Biden. House Democrats subpoenaed Parnas and Fruman on Thursday as part of the impeachment inquiry into Trump. Former Trump attorney John Dowd, who is now representing Parnas and Fruman, signaled in a letter to House investigators last week that his clients will not cooperate with Democrats' probe. Today's indictments likely represent only the tip of the iceberg in terms of foreign meddling in general but also by Parnas and Fruman, said Ryan. This post received a score of 24,163, with an upvote ratio of 91%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. This is getting good. I can't wait to see those paper trails. Death by 1,000 paper cuts. Admiral Navy SEAL McGuire severed a career artery trying to get documents to the right folks. Is that McBeal the Navy SEAL? What is this, a crossover episode? What are you doing here? Please find out they used his hotels to launder money and the government can seize his properties. Is this not common knowledge? Foreign nationals have been funneling money into his real estate endeavors for quite a while, allowing his businesses to take the money and mark the sales of rented rooms with no occupants. Opening square bracket, opening square bracket, opening square bracket, and hash X200B. Money laundering definition. Bribery is illegal. Hence, laundering bribes through real estate is illegal and Trump's businesses are under investigation for that as well. Common knowledge versus able to prove they knowingly broke the law, because, ya yeah, no, rich people crimes require intent. Rich people don't commit crimes, they make mistakes. I think the problem is that the line between making a profit off of a customer and stealing from them is very thin in corporate America. There's a non-zero chance that in the near future Rudy will be arrested at an airport disguised as a woman trying to flee the country. That wouldn't even be the stupidest thing to happen in all of this. It was only when we saw the name Ruthi Giuliani we knew we had him, TSA January 2020. They would have let him through but he had 4.7 ounces of water and nail clippers so he was clearly a wanted criminal. The significance of this is that SDNY FBI never stopped the investigating Trump's election shenanigans. And I would be money that Cohen's name will come up as witness. This was an investigation that went on for months. It was going on while Giuliani was going to Europe with these guys. And it comes out the day after reports that Rex Tillerson reported Trump asked him to intervene in prosecution of another of Giuliani's clients. The SDNY's investigation will continue going on until Trump leaves office and they can level charges. That's gonna be a hefty book thrown his way. I'm hoping they start levying charges at the outside fringes of the criminal enterprise and work their way up, to see the reaction as the walls of justice close in would be extremely interesting. That just gives the people at the top warning enough to frame someone else and avoid paying for their crimes. Would prefer high-profile criminals get caught first and set the example that billionaires are still beholden to the law. Equality is the goal. Larger crimes should be dealt with first. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.